right, guys, so I'm just about to go to the Army Surplus Store, which um, they sell kind of like used army equipment. So I'm actually going to be incorporating that in some of my t-shirts. But I just got this in the mail. So um, it's some mail from the school in Nova Scotia. And they like some of my art, so they, all their students in the grade four class sent me some mail. So let's open it up and see what it is. All right, so we've opened the package. So there's like a little opening letter here. So, hello, Evan. We are the group of grade six students from Fairview Heights Elementary School in Halifax. We came across your interview on CBC Arts Kids and we were inspired by you as a young artist. We especially love your East Coast paintings as they showcase our home province in such a beautiful way. A few of my students have written letters to find out more about your work as an artist. We hope you enjoy reading them and look forward to hearing back from you. Sincerely, Miss Hildy Rome and the students of Fairview Heights Elementary. Well, thank you guys a lot. That, that means a lot. So these are some of the letters. So my name is Asha. I'm 11 and I really like your art. I love the colors and I want to learn how to paint as good as you. I have a couple of questions. One is what inspired you to paint? Also what inspired you to paint in your specific style? So to answer that question, what inspired me to paint? I would say um, when I was around 10 or 11, so your age, I um, did a lot of touring to different art galleries and actually Louvre in France. And I came across the Mona Lisa and like many people, I thought it was like super cool, like how striking the composition was. So I did some more research into art and everything and um, I became really interested in it. And I'd always loved like drawing and painting before that. So I kind of just thought, hey, maybe I should give this a try. So then I was painting for a few months and I started showcasing my work at this local restaurant. And then um, I got accepted to the Artist Project in Toronto and then I've just kind of been painting ever since. And in my specific, specific style, um, well, it's kind of like a neo-expressionist Fava style. So I really love a lot of those artists like Henry Matisse, um, he's amazing. And I like to just put my own twists on things. And um, I feel like this style in particular can evoke a lot of like emotions and you can convey emotions. And for all the colors, it's great to use as like tonal shading and bring some color to your work. So that's probably why I use that style. How does it feel to be recognized at 13? Well, it's definitely a huge honor. Um, all the opportunities that I got I've gotten and it's just awesome to see people's responses and to just brighten people's day with my art. Thanks so much Asha. I'll, I'm gonna read these, some more of these and I'll kind of just talk to you about some of the best things from them. So right now I'm gonna go to the army surplus store so I'll catch you guys there. All right guys so we just went to the army surplus store picked up a ton of stuff I'm gonna use that in clothing and everything got some gas masks that were actually like 1970 issued for like from the Soviet Russians so that's pretty cool but I'll show you some of the pickups when we get back but uh yeah roll the next clip from the army surplus store I picked up some stuff so I think a lot of like kind of like prototype design things so some military pants right here um, some more military pants there. Woven scarves that they use in the desert and stuff. So I could probably cut that up and put it in something. And this is like a strap from like, I think like 1980 or something. So that's pretty cool. And this is a Russian sword belt. I think this was made in the 60s or 70s. So that's pretty cool. Some rope. You'll, you'll actually see in this vlog what that's gonna be for. Bandanas, another scarf. Uh, I think this was from the 80s or 70s. I might even, I think this may be like a belt or something. Some more rope. This is probably the best thing I picked up today. These are flight goggles from I think the 50s and these were used I think in World War II. So that's pretty cool. And then just now some accessories, some carabiners. Um, these are some bike goggles here and like a little clip on compass. So fast forward to the time lapse. Alright, so here I'm carving a block print out of linoleum. So I'm actually using this with the carving tools. This is one of the first times I've tried this technique. And it was actually quite fun for me to do, just to play around with different printing techniques. 
so here I'm trying to stamp it onto the t-shirt onto the front. So this is a t-shirt I customized before. But this trial didn't work out this well. And with some later research, I found that you're supposed to put the t-shirt on top of the print. So we'll see how that works. So the second trial worked much better and I was able to get a clean print. Alright, so right now we're in the AGO, so Ontario, our gallery of Ontario, and we're gonna look at some sick painting, so I'll see what footage we can get, so roll flip. Now we're at the uh, Raptors game, they're playing the Clippers tonight, and um, there's Valentinus right there. So I think it'll be a pretty good game. I'll see how much footage I can get. So uh, yeah, let's see. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, it's been a great time going to Toronto and seeing the Raptors game and the AGO and all the great um, art pieces there. So that's the end of today's episode, but make sure you tune in next time because the episode is going to be even better. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe, comment, like, and be sure to turn in your post notifications. See you next episode.